Hello viewers, so we have this problem to solve. Here we have 2xy minus a equals to 1000 and here we have x minus 2ay equals to 1001 and we are asked to find the integer solutions. So let this be our equation 1 and let this be our equation 2. The next step is we can subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So you're going to have here equation 2 minus equation 1. So this will give us, let me write the equation 2. So you're going to have x minus 2ay minus, let me write equation 1. And I have 2xy minus a equals to 1001 minus 1000. So right now, we are going to have x minus 2ay negative times the whole of this thing will give us we have negative 2xy we have plus a equals to 1001 minus 1000 we are going to have one so at this point we can combine the terms and factorize out so let's do that we are going to have we have x here and we have a here so you're going to have x plus a then we have negative 2 ay minus 2xy equals to 1. So the next thing we're going to do here is for us to group it. So you're going to have x plus a. Then we can actually factorize this. You're going to have negative 2y into x plus a equals to 1. So if you multiply this out, you are going to get this. Negative 2y times x will give us negative 2xy. And negative 2y times a, we're going to have negative 2ay. So everything is the same. Here we can actually attach 1 because when this multiplies 1, we are going to have the same thing. So right now we're going to have 1 minus 2y and x plus a equals to 1. We can actually choose one of these because we have x plus a here and we have x plus a here. You're going to have 1x plus a and we actually combine this and this. So that's what we got here. So right now, 2xy minus a is an integer. x minus 2ay is an integer. This also is an integer and this is an integer. So right now, we need to find the factors of 1. So let me write it here. Factors of 1 and the factors of 1 are we have 1 times 1 will give us 1. And we have negative 1 times negative 1 will give us 1. So the next thing is for us to equate each of these to these particular factors. So we are going to start with 1. So let's go ahead and equate all these. We're going to have 1 minus 2y equals to 1. This can be our case 1. Then we have x plus a equals to 1. Then let's consider case 2 will be we are going to consider this negative 1. So it's going to be 1 minus 2y equals to negative 1. And x plus a equals to negative 1. We are going to solve for the values of a, x, and y in each of these cases and obtain the solutions. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's consider case 1 here. I've written it down here. And let's copy this equation. So we have 1 minus 2y equals to 1 and we have x plus a equals to 1. So let's consider this first equation. 1 minus 2y equals to 1. If this one cross over this equality sign we change to negative 1. So we have negative 2y equals to 1 minus 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have negative 2y equals to 0. And y will be equals to 0 divided by negative 2 which is equals to 0. So right now, we have gotten the value of y, in this case 1, and y equals to 0. Now let's go ahead and find the value of x and a. And we are going to use this equation, so let's write it here. We have 2xy minus a equals to 1000. So right now, y equals to 0. That means the whole of this will be 0. Then we have negative a equals to 1000, meaning a equals to negative 1000. So that is the value of a in the case 1. Now, let's go ahead and find the value of x. So right now, 
let's consider this second equation. So I'm going to use here we have x minus 2ay equals to 1001. Then x equals to 1001. This negative 2ay, if it comes over, it will, turn, it will turn to positive 2ay. So we have plus 2ay. So x equals to 1001 plus 2 into a is negative 1000 times y is 0. So this will give us 0. That means x equals to 1001. So in the first case, a equals to negative 1000, x equals to 1001, and y equals to 0. That is it for the first case. Now let's consider the second case. So right now here we have case 2. And let's write out this equation. So we have 1 minus 2y equals to negative 1. And we have x plus a equals to negative 1. So from this first equation, we can have negative 2y equals to negative 1 minus 1. Because this is positive 1. When it crosses, it will become negative 1. So we have negative 2y equals to negative 2 and y equals to negative 2 divided by negative 2 which is equals to 1 that means in this case 2y equals to 1 now let's go ahead and find x so right now let's use this particular equation we have 2xy minus a equals to 1000 that means if we substitute the value of y into this equation we are going to have 2x minus a equals to 1000 and if we do the same thing into this one we are going to have x minus 2a equals to 1001 because y is 1 that means 2a times 1 will give us 2a so right now these are the two equations we are going to solve let's go ahead and do that to find the values of x and a for case 2 all right so let's continue on this part of the report so we have 2x minus a equals to 1000 and we have x minus 2a equals to 1001 so right now let's consider the second equation so we have x equals to if we make the x the subject we are going to have x equals to 1001 plus 2a because so right now we have gotten x equals to 1001 plus 2a we need to substitute this into this first equation so let's go ahead and do that we're going to have 2 into 1001 plus 2a minus a equals to 1000 if you multiply this out we are going to have 2002 plus 4a minus a equals to 1000 so let's continue here. Then we have 2002 plus 4a minus a. We are going to have 3a equals to 1000. Then 3a equals to when these 2002 comes over, it will turn to negative. We are going to have 1000 minus 2002. So you have 3a equals to 1000 minus 2002. We are going to have negative 1002 so we have a equals to negative 1002 divided by 3 and a equals to negative 3 3 4 so right now this is the value of a for case 2 now let's go ahead and find the value of x so for us to do that we are going to consider this equation here we have x equals to 1001 plus 2a so we have x equals to 1001 plus 2 into negative 3 3 4 we have x equals to 1001 minus because here is positive and here is negative we are going to have 6 6 8 so we have x now equals to 1001 minus 6 6 8 we are going to have 3 3 3 so therefore for case 2 let me write it here case 2 
a equals to negative 3, 3, 4. x equals to 3, 3, 3. And y equals to 1. So here we have case 1 and case 2. And we are going to insert the values for a, x, and y in their respective cases. So let's start with case 1. In case 1, a is equals to, we have negative 1000. And x, we have 1001. Then y, we have 0. Then case 2, a is equals to, we have negative 3, 3, 4. And x, we have 3, 3, 3. Then y, we have 1. So these are the solutions, the integer solutions for the question. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.